When you think of Wallace and Gromit, there aren't many elements that comprise the core feel of the franchise. You've got Gromit, who doesn't speak, yet shows an array of emotions through his facial expressions, some wacky inventions, and of course, Wallace, who in the first ever short film, A Grand Day Out, was the only speaking character throughout. It's like no cheese I've ever tasted. The iconic voice of Wallace was provided by Peter Salas, who helped out Wallace and Gromit's creator, Nick Park, as a favour during his time as a student, when he was developing the aforementioned short film. Salas helped to direct and shape the character, but once the voice had been recorded, he heard nothing more. Naturally, he was shocked to hear back from Park six years later, in 1989, with a television transmission date for what was originally only intended as his university graduation project. Peter Salas had a unique, charming quality which, together with his oversized vowels and endearing performance, helped Nick Park fashion Wallace from the beginning. According to Park himself, the manner in which he first delivered his iconic lines soon led to Wallace's enormous coat hanger mouth. This is actually a detail I've never picked up on, as Wallace's model in A Grand Day Out always stuck out as different in comparison to later renditions of the character, and the smaller mouth is exactly why. So, once Park had heard the performance of Salas, this adaptation would be made with immediate effect, as the very next short film, The Wrong Trousers, transmitted in 1993, would be the first appearance of the Wallace design we know today. A Close Shave followed in 1995, concluding the original trilogy of short films. After a few years off screen and with high demand for the next Wallace and Gromit adventure, although Nick Park was busy writing the duo's first feature film outing, Aardman decided to produce a series of short films surrounding Wallace's various inventions. Peter Salas once again reprised his role for what became ten episodes of Wallace and Gromit's Cracking Contraptions which were surprisingly released online back in 2002, before being broadcast on BBC One over Christmas that year. Wallace and Gromit The Curse of the Were-Rabbit in 2005, and A Matter of Loaf and Death in 2008, would be the last major productions Peter Salas was involved in as Wallace. Aside from a few cross-promotion campaigns on the side, that Wallace and Gromit often participate in. In 2012, Due to being 91 years of age at the time, Peter Salas retired from acting as Wallace, who would be portrayed in any further advertisements by Ben Whitehead, who had previously voiced the character in the Curse of the Were-Rabbit video game. You really ate all of these pies? You fat bastard! At the time, this seemed a temporary measure for the adverts, perhaps due to a lower budget, and it seemed feasible that Peter Salas could return for another short film, for example. But one never came, and five years later, in 2017, Peter Salas passed away at the grand age of 96. I assumed at this point that Wallace and Gromit would be put to rest, as there hadn't been any films in almost a decade, Peter Salas hadn't been involved for years, even before his passing, and I wasn't aware of Ben Whitehead's casting at the time, due to his appearances only being in short cross-promotions thus far. Upon listening to Whitehead's work as Wallace chronologically, there's a vast improvement to his impression from the video game, to the advertisements he's featured in as of 2020. Although sceptical at first, I think Ben Whitehead is the right man for the job. Not to say that anyone could 100% replicate the iconography of Peter Salas, but after 15 years of working on his impression, he does a cracking good job of voicing Wallace. If you enjoyed this video and learned something new, feel free to like, subscribe, and leave your thoughts in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.